from American Fork Police shows how officers were able to locate two of Ruby Frankie's children on the day of her arrest in southern Utah. From our previous reporting, we were the very first to tell you how officers scoured Utah County that day looking for two of Ruby Frankie's children after the other two were located in southern Utah in or near Jody Hildebrand's Ivan's home, malnourished and emaciated. The video we're about to show you is from the home of a third member of Hildebrandt's business. It's called Connections Classroom. Although American Fork Police redacted this video, we spent a lot of time today, took some additional steps to ensure the privacy of the children involved. We had a... Uh agency assists out of St. George in Springville. On August 30th, American Fork Police responding to the home of Pam Botcher to try and locate two of Ruby Frankie's children the day Ruby and Jody Hildebrandt were taken into custody in southern Utah. Just put your hands in front of you, okay? Just going to place you temporarily under wait, 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 arrest, wait, 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 okay? Wait, wait, wait. In two body camera videos obtained by 2 News, officers placed Botcher in handcuffs and took her to the back of a patrol car and waited for Springville police to arrive. In the meantime, officers tried to get a better understanding of the situation, which spans from Utah County to Washington County. Is Ruby Frankie's daughter. Okay. She's a friend of ours. She comes over and helps me every once in a while to do cleaning and stuff. Because she knows her mom. She's very good friends with her. Has known her for a long, long time. Pam was handcuffed for roughly 50 minutes. That's when Springville police officers started speaking with her about the Frankie children. So my friend called me and she said, hey, I have a family emergency. I'm going to St. George. A DCFS worker arrives as officers try to clarify a time frame from when Ruby Frankie called Pam and apparently told her where she could find the two children spread across Utah County. Ruby contacted her around noon and said that they had a Around, I don't know if that's a story. Minutes later, the DCFS worker asks how Pam knows the family, to which she confirmed our reporting about how Ruby, Jody Hildebrandt, and Pam all worked through Jody's business. How did you start to know the family? The Frankie family? Yeah. Through a, a program called Connections. Oh, okay. It's a kind of a life skills yeah. type of thing. Pam walked with the officers and DCFS worker back to the front of their home, where they told the children that they were either to stay with their older sister or be placed into state custody with a foster family. You want to go get your stuff? You guys can come and get your stuff. During the entire 90 minute stretch of when officers arrived to when the two children were placed in state custody, officers had a really difficult time getting information about the situation and relaying that to Botcher, her husband and others involved. For example, there are even mentions in this body camera of Ruby and her husband in custody at that time. To our knowledge, Kevin Frankie was not in custody that day. Here's another clip from the interaction between officers and Pam trying to make sense of all of this. So just to make sure I'm understanding all this correctly, Ruby contacted you around noon and said that they had a yeah, around. I don't know if that's a short. Sense. That's yeah. your best guess. Said so she had a family emergency. emergency and needed to pick up the girls. Yeah, she said, would you mind watching the girls yeah. while I'm gone? Because she was leaving. I said, yeah, I could do that because I need some help cleaning. Okay, and then did she say to bring them to your house for today and then take it back home tonight? Or to keep them here for a couple days? She didn't say. I was just planning on bringing them home tonight. Shortly after, the DCFS worker comes over to ask Pam about how she really knows Ruby Frankie. She brings up the business Connections Classroom. That's the business Jody Hildebrandt ran. We've done a lot of coverage on this. Here's the interaction when asking how Pam knows Ruby Frankie. What type of things do they do with the program? Um, it's like life skills. Life skills. Like um, learning how to, you know, it's like be honest, responsible, and humble. Those are those three pillars of their of their program. Okay. Um, is there like a meeting place for these met, or is it kind of a virtual no? Place? It's online every Saturday morning. It's called Empowering Joy. Okay. okay. How long have you known them for? Oh, jeez. Ish. <laughs> Probably. Oh, gee, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, I didn't know her really well because she was in the program, but I didn't really know her. But I, I've known her probably really well, maybe three years. Is this like a program that she started or is it just one that she kind of... She's just a part of she's it. She's just part of it. Okay. 